Now let's see some questions on quick sort that are previous year questions of gate. Now this is gate 2014 question. Let P be a quick sort program to sort numbers in ascending order using the first element as pivot. It is taking the pivot as the first element as the pivot. Now let T1 and T2 be the number of comparisons. These are the number of comparison made by P for the inputs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 4, 1, 5, 3, 2 respectively. Which one of the following holds? Okay. So we have to find the relation between T1 and T2 where T1 is the number of comparison taking in this array and T2 is the number of comparison taken in this array. Now we know that if the uh, array is already in sorted order then the time it will take the greater time but now it is asking for comparison. So now to find the comparison it is saying that it is taking first element as the pivot element. Now it will compare this with this 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 and after first iteration one will be in its place only and it will do the quick sort again in this array but in this case if we take 4 as the pivot element as is mentioned take the first element as the pivot then it will place 1 2 3 here and 4 here and 5 here these can be in any order like say 3 1 2 or anything so after this it is divided in, in, in an array of a less part so it will have less number of comparison as 5 is already sorted it will have less number of comparison as compared to this so the number of comparison in t1 is greater than t2 so the answer will be c which is number of comparison in t1 array will be greater than t2 now let's see one more question now it is um, get 1994 question it's saying algorithm design technique used in quicksort algorithm is it is is it dynamic programming backtracking divide and conquer and gradient method so if you remember it is divide and conquer quicksort also used divide and conquer because it pick any element as the pivot element then it plays in its right position and it divides the array in two halves and then again recursively call quicksort in both halves so it is a divide and conquer method so now this question is gate 1992 I picked this question because it is one of conceptual question for quick sort. Assume that the last element of the set is used as the partition element. We are using last element as the partition element in quick sort, which is pivot element. If n distinct elements from the set 1 to n are to be sorted, given an input for which quick sort takes maximum time. So we have to tell the cases at which this array, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, let's say up to n. It contain these elements it will take the maximum time so one case we already know which is if it is in already in sorted order let is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 if it is in sorted order then it will take order of n square which is the maximum time because if we take uh, it is saying that it is used it will take last element it will pick last element as the pivot element and after first iteration it will come in its own position only and we have to again do a quick sort in n minus 1 elements so it will take order of n square but what will the second case if, if i say that uh, if it is in descending order let's say there are 10 elements then it is, is in descending order 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 then it will be a worst case or not yeah it will be again a worst case because let's say we are uh, picking the last element i think yeah it is, we are picking the last element as the pivot element then it after the first iteration one will come in this position okay one will come in this position then again we have to do a quick sort in the array of length n minus one which this case is similar to this case so if the array is in ascending order or descending order it will take order of n square time in only so these two cases are the maximum time which quick sort take there is uh, one more case in which quicksort will take this maximum time but in this question distinct is mentioned so that case not come in case here because if if the distinct is not mentioned in the question then there is one more case possible that is that there is an array which contain the all elements with same value let's say 2 2 2 2 2 now in this case if we take any element as the pivot element it will come to its original position only let's say we pick the 2 then it after iteration also it will come in this position only and again we have to perform the quick sort in n minus 1 element so if the elements all the elements are having same value also that then in that case also quick sort will take its maximum time 
okay and there's one note point in randomized pick quick sort i've told you that if we pick the um, pivot element as randomly and the average case it take n log n because we are picking the pivot element as the random but at the worst case randomized algorithm is also take order of n square because let's say how we are picking the random element such that it is coming in its sorted position only okay let's say if there is an array there is one four three five let's say randomly we pick the element five and after first iteration it's coming its original position only five and in second iteration we pick the element one as the pivot and after first second iteration it's co again coming into its original position so in that case we are picking the pivot element as random but we are picking such that it is coming to its original position only in that case in randomized I'll quick sort will also give order of n square time now there are some practice questions on quick sort you can pause the video and practice these questions there are one more question thank you